Well, now to the latest in the Idaho murders. Authorities finally arresting a suspect in the deaths of four Idaho college students on Friday. Now today, new details are coming to light about that suspect. NBC's Gotti Schwartz is in Moscow, Idaho with the latest. With the suspect finally in custody after a seven week manhunt, the search for justice is only beginning. Detectives arrested 28 year old Brian Christopher Kohlberger. Early Friday, authorities took Kohlberger into custody at his parents' home in northeastern Pennsylvania on suspicion of the murder of four college students in Moscow, Idaho. After graduating from DeSales University, Kohlberger enrolled in a doctoral program in criminal justice at Washington State University, just miles from the University of Idaho campus and the scene of the murders. He's being held in Pennsylvania, where his public defender says Kohlberger was shocked by the arrest. He believes he will be exonerated. The lawyer reading a statement from Koberger's family. We have fully cooperated with law enforcement agencies in an attempt to seek the truth and promote his presumption of innocence. He confirmed that Koberger's father flew to Washington State to meet his son and made the cross-country road trip back to Pennsylvania with him, the father telling him he didn't notice anything different about his son. Everything was ordinary uh, and he saw nothing unusual about it. Police seized a white Hyundai Elantra at Koberger's parents' home in Pennsylvania, the same model they say was seen near the crime scene around the time of the attack. Austin Morrison says Koberger was a teaching assistant in a criminal justice class he took at Washington State. Just rather quiet, very off to the side, standoffish. He sat in the class, didn't do a whole lot. Two law enforcement sources familiar with the investigation told NBC News that detectives used genetic genealogy to track down the suspect. It broadens the search. Instead of just looking for that one person in the database or maybe their very close relatives, we now are looking for second, third, fourth cousins and beyond. The team that did this work had a very difficult task 